Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I finally found a solar panel that fits on top of my rifle box. So China and Amazon have finally blessed me with a solar panel that fits perfectly on top of my rifle box. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I did to mount this solar panel to the top of my rifle box, as well as do a couple quick tests out in the sun to see how much this baby generates. Now, when I was actually doing this project, I wasn't feeling 100%, so I didn't actually do any of the talking while I was filming. But fortunately, I did record most of the footage, so I'm going to do a voiceover for you guys and show you guys exactly what I did to get it up there. Now, I've already driven my 4Runner at 80 miles an hour to go fishing, and it seems to be just fine up there. So you guys can rest assured that this thing is not going anywhere. So let's go ahead and get into the footage so you guys can see exactly how to do this. So first thing you want to make sure you have is a 1x1 one one aluminum angle iron. This one is 1 8 inch thick and we're going to want to cut it down to 8 inches. 8 inches will be perfect for this as that's the size of the rifle box and also the solar panel is only 16 inches wide. And then you're going to want to clean up all the uh, sharp edges with either a flap wheel or sandpaper. Or here I have an air die grinder on 60 grit sandpaper. Alright, we're just going to center punch this. The, uh, the bolts that go to the rifle box are going to be one inch from the edge. And then the ones that go to the solar panel are going to be one and three quarters. That way the bolts don't get in the way of each other. Now it probably would have been smarter to uh, actually mark the holes on the outside so that it would have made drilling a little bit easier. But you can see here you just got to drill it with a small drill bit, work your way up, and then eventually get to a quarter inch hole. Now here I wanted it to be flush mount so I put it on that chest freezer and then we're just lining it up to be centered, four inches on either side, center punching it, then drilling it out to that quarter inch hole again. Now here the hardware I'm using for this is going to be stainless steel quarter inch by 20 and I'm using a three quarter inch bolt and then on the bottom it's just a washer and a nylon lock nut. So you can find this at your local Home Depot for relatively inexpensive. Now here I'm using a power tool but I highly suggest you use a ratchet just to manually tighten this down. It just helps speed up the process. Now here I took the rifle box off the truck and I wanted to lay it on the ground so I can see it easier. And lucky for me you can see the angle iron lines up perfectly with the uh, flat spots in the box. And then here I'm just making it flush with the front and then just marking the holes so that I can drill them out to a quarter inch. And it's probably recommended to center punch these as well. And then I just put two quarter inch bolts in here to hold it in place and the holes are a little snug so I had to use a screwdriver. Now I just flip it around and I already drilled the holes at this point and now I'm just putting all the screws in and just tightening it down. Now I flip the box open and now I'm putting the washer in and the nylon lock nut on all four corners. And then I just use my screwdriver and ratchet to tighten it down. Now at this point I already went and tested this out and everything seemed to work fine. So I went ahead and just took it all apart and decided I'm going to spray the aluminum angle iron a flat black. Which I kind of regret, I should have probably went with a gloss black to match the solar panel frame. So while I was waiting for the paint to dry, I decided to work on the wiring a little bit here. Cut off all the old zip ties and get it ready for the vehicle. So I just kind of twisted it together and put my own zip ties on and then you can see here I attached it to the uh, side of the solar panel so that it wouldn't move uh, because that's where the uh, solar panel is going to connect on that side. And so here's a closer look and I 
think I need one more zip tie in there, but it seems to be fine. A few moments later. All right, so at this point the paint is dried. I waited about an hour or two, and now I'm just reassembling everything back on the vehicle. If you guys don't know how to do that, you guys can check out my rifle box video. I show you guys how to install it on the roof rack. And you can see I use my little tablet there to prop it up so I don't have to hold the weight of the solar panel on my arm. So here I'm just closing it all up and testing it to make sure that it's sturdy so that it doesn't fly off on the highway, which I don't think it will. And it looks good. Alright, moment of truth. And that is to test to make sure that I can actually get this vehicle out of the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the engine and see if it actually clears that top header there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous doing this because I didn't have a spotter. But I did take a measurement before and I was about two and a half inches from hitting that and the solar panel was only about an inch and a half. So, you know, math works usually. And I had about an inch of clearance. And you can see here I'm just checking with my hand and it's pretty, pretty close. It's got about an inch under there. So, pretty happy about that. And you can see here, I'm trying to give you guys a side shot. It's kind of dark outside. I think it was about 11 p.m. So, a little bit hard to see, but it barely clears. I did take a photo in the morning, so you can see there it's about an inch. Tomorrow. All right, guys, here's the final product outside collecting some sunlight and uh, it's working well I'll show you guys an amp reading in a second here but I'll show you that you actually can still use the uh, rifle case got to finish up that wire back there but all right guys we're up here we're gonna go ahead and take a reading it's about one o'clock right now I'm going to show you guys that it generates about 1.8 amps right now, which is kind of low for a 70 watt panel, but you know, this is the only panel I can find that would fit up here. All right, I wanted to show you guys I got these Y adapters as well, so that way I can use both my solar panels if I really wanted to. And they basically just wire the uh, solar panels in parallel. And you plug both your panels in, and then it comes out to one. I'll show you guys that right now. All right, you can see I got both panels up here, and I'm going to go ahead and connect these. One pair to each one, and I should get more amperage with both of them running, which would give me 170 watts of solar panel. All right, before I connect the second panel, I've got my 100 watt hooked up, and I'm getting 4 amps out of that one. So a little bit over double what this guy is. Let me go ahead and plug the second one in and see what kind of amperage I get. All right, I've got both panels plugged in. As you can see, it is, like I said, one o'clock. I'm gonna see how many amps I get now. So with both of them, you can see I'm getting 5.85. So, you know, approximately three to four, and then two out of this one, I think. So, yeah, it looks like I get about six amps when they're both connected. And I don't plan on running this one unless I'm like, you know, out for a really long time. I'll probably just leave this one full time and have this as a backup. And I'll just leave this uh, in my storage along with that. So pretty cool. All right, you guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. As you saw, this guy barely fits in my garage still, which I'm happy about. And I'm gonna be using this solar panel to get free energy when I'm out there fishing or camping or doing whatever I'm doing outdoors without having to worry about my battery dying. Now the nice thing about this is it still fits in my garage and I can leave this up here full time whenever I'm using my rifle box. And also my rifle box still works, which is an added bonus. And up here is just dead space anyway, so it was the perfect fit for this vehicle. Now if you want this exact setup where everything fits perfectly because I couldn't have asked for a better fitment, you can check out some of my links down below. I'll put a link to this rifle box specifically and this solar panel so that you guys can get the same exact one if you want to do this mod. Now, if you guys have any questions about this project or any questions about my 4Runner, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. 
Just remember I got other videos on my channel about my Forerunner as well, so make sure you check those out. And if you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out a lot. As always guys, have a nice day.